Hello, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you, friends. So, in this session, we will see proof of law of cosines by using Pythagorean theorem. So, we know that law of sines or law of cosines are used to solve for triangles. So, let's try to get the proof for law of cosines. For that, what I will do? I will take a simple triangle. I will take a triangle. Let us say this is our triangle A, B and C. We know that the opposite sides are small b, small c and small a. Now we have to use Pythagoras. So what I will do? I will try to create two right angle triangles here. How I can do that? I have to drop a line perpendicular to BC. So, let us say A is divided into two parts. One is X and another is A minus X. Okay, right. Now, we don't know this altitude, so I'll call it as H. Now, how we will proceed forward is, we'll try to use Pythagoras theorem on both the triangles and equate H. From that, you should be able to find, you should be able to get the law of cosines. So, I will say triangle ABD and what is the other triangle? Triangle ACD. From triangle ABD, we know H square equal to c square minus x square. From triangle ACD, I know h square equal to b square minus a minus x whole square. If I equate, I will have c square minus x square equal to b square minus of a minus x whole square. That is nothing but equal to c square minus x square equal to b square minus a square minus x square plus 2ax. Now, we can cancel x square. Then, I will have c square. Sh what we will do now? So, I will have c square equal to b square minus a square plus 2ax. So, what I will do? I will say b square equal to c square plus a square minus 2ax. But we know that from triangle ABD, ABD, cos of B, angle B here, cos of angle B is nothing but equal to x divided by c. So, I, I can say B square equal to c square plus a square minus 2ac into cos b. Now, instead of a, if you drop a perpendicular to ac, that is nothing but measure of b, you will be getting other equations. So, you can get all the three equations by using Pythagoras theorem. It's very simple and easy to prove. So, that's about law of cosines proof using Pythagorean theorem. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now. Let me know your feedback. You can drop a mail or you can put a comment in my channel. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.